Shut up and sit down. I'm Alex of All Trades, and this is the Sunday Boot Circle. Today, I'm talking about Circe by Madeline Miller. I remember I stated in my last Sunday Boot Circle that I wanted to see Miller grow as an author. Now I'm starting to think that authors' second novels are all worse than their first. I'm reading Salem's Lot at the time of recording this, and I feel like it's worse than Carrie. I also feel that Circe is worse than The Song of Achilles. I remember complaining about all the summary in The Song of Achilles. Now way more of Circe is in summary. The majority of the novel. Some moments that should be very important are glossed over. This makes for a fast read, sure, but it is also less engaging. I feel like I never really got to feel Cersei's inner self because she often told us what she thought and felt with extreme temporal distance or in summaries. This meant that Cersei, as a character, had almost no subtext, no dramatic irony. It's possible that this was on purpose because that's how ancient Greeks told stories with temporal distance and broad brush strokes, but those ancient Greeks didn't have the thousands of years of advancement in how stories are told that we have today. Homer's versions are boring to read, especially the shield of Achilles. I don't need new stories told in the same manner, not when we've advanced narrative expression to be more engaging. Here come the spoilers. It also presented a major social issue with the use of white space and brush stroke on some very important parts of of Cersei's life her sex life. Cersei has a lot of sex, and we see none of it. We don't see her lose her virginity. We don't see her sexual connection to Daedalus. We don't see her use of sex as self-flagellation. We don't see her use of sex as a power play with Odysseus. And we don't see her express her love and be loved through sex with Telemachus. Women in most English-speaking countries have a very uncomfortable connection to themselves as sexual beings. Part of this has to do with how different forms of Western media presents sex and women. When women have sex, it is most often cast without full depiction as being a duty, a thing to get over with, unpleasant, painful, unimportant, often only pleasurable if the woman is doing something morally repugnant in the act, even if it is just bare bones sex and any combination of all of this. Sex is typically white spaced or brush stroked unless it is not sex but rape, and especially if women are part of the audience for the narrative's consumption. It is not not really a chicken and an egg thing. Women are uncomfortable with sex, not because sex is uncomfortable for women and the narratives try to respect that uncomfortableness. Instead, women are uncomfortable with sex because women having sex as a commonplace act is not depicted, is not treated as an everyday occurrence. Cersei feeds into that. It does exactly that same thing. I believe that female writers of any type of narrative should get past their own discomfort with sex to help their fellow women women feel more comfortable with sex. I know from reading The Song of Achilles that Miller can write a sex scene, but she is far too hesitant in Circe to show women have sex from their own point of view. If storytelling is power, as some have argued in their reviews of this novel, why take away some of Circe's power by not showing all the different ways she experienced sex? By shying away from it, we make sex for women a bigger deal than it should be, and this takes away from our power, our completeness as people, our agency. We often talk about how men who watch pornography have a distorted view of sex, but women on the whole have a distorted view of sex and themselves as sexual beings too. It's just a pendulum swing. We can't fully be ourselves if we are not allowed to talk about sex, to think about it, to watch it, or read about it. We can't come to our personal understanding of sex if our media is never able to come at it from an objective viewpoint, which includes showing showing the details of all different kinds of sex, and in prose means getting in the head of women during the act. This is a huge social issue, and a feminist one, that even feminists will feed into without even realizing it. I know that it is important when people are objectified unwillingly, but that's something that happens to celebrities, while the average everyday woman is often unwillingly conditioned to be prudish. If a woman enjoys sex, 
there's probably something emotionally disturbed about her, is the common thought. Even from women. But really, there's something wrong with most of us that we can't talk about sex, show it, and forget about wanting it or actively seeking it out. I was so disappointed that Cersei fed into this. I hope Miller's next novel is braver. I hope it goes further, especially when her goals seem to be to rewrite the old stories for those that weren't depicted as complete individuals. I felt there was more dramatic irony in the depiction of Cersei as a mother. She's not a very good one when Telegonus is young. She disciplines him not at all, simply because she is not able to strike a balance between holding him responsible for his actions and taking it too far. She convinces herself that no discipline is a good thing since her childhood was so fearful. Helios was an authoritarian parent, which creates emotionally neglected adults. Cersei, going in the complete opposite direction of her father, is a permissive parent, which research shows also creates emotionally neglected adults. This is another pendulum swing, but Miller does it on purpose, and I'm not sure that Cersei's thought that this is a good way of parenting was supported by the implied author. Though I could be wrong, to be honest, it is a socially risky part of the book, as it could be taken at face value that permissive parenting is good parenting, which is absolutely not true. It is a fairy tale to believe that children that never learn responsibility and respect of others from their parents will turn into responsible, empathetic adults. What did you think of Cersei? Did you enjoy it? Do you want to read more of Miller's work? What's your favorite novel that focuses on how women have sex? Do you think there was any dramatic irony to Cersei's depiction as a parent? This has been the Sunday Boat Circle, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe, click that bell, leave a comment below, visit my blog at empatheticwriter.wordpress.com, and follow me on Patreon for exclusive content and a shout out on a video. Merch, 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 yeah! Check out my new shop at cafepress.com slash alexvaltrades for all kinds of products with my face on them.